The thrust of the Institute of Business Development is building competitive advantage for business growth. Stakeholders converged on Lagos for the second International Business Development Summit for Africa. The theme was Towards Alternative Strategies for Sustainable Economic Growth in Africa. Papers were presented. Dr. Friday Okpara is the Director, Strategic Partnership and Liaison of the Small and Medium Enterprises Development Agency of Nigeria. He delivered a paper on innovative financing for sustainable development of SMEs in Africa. Instead of the normal land and building alone as collateral, there is what we call a moving register that was established by the CBA recently, whereby SMEs can use their, the type of assets they have or their land to get um, as collateral for loans from banks. He advised Nigeria to step up in the area of quality control. All the goods you see in the African market, be it in the UK, in America or Canada, are Nigerian goods. But the thing is that when Ghana comes to Nigeria, they go to Zakibia and go to Awayam and move it to Ghana and do whatever they want to do in terms of policing and so on and so forth. There's no more Nigerian goods. It's now... They come to Kuala, Niger State, Nasawa, along that belt, they have, they have um, shea butter very well. And shea butter is used for chemical and pharmaceutical um, industry very, very well. They regard it. The one Chinese will come to buy, like Indian will come to buy, then they process. It becomes their own, not no more Nigeria. Because we don't have that processing capacity. If you go to ordinary Ghana, they have all, all, over 20 lab to look at your product and so on and so forth. But we heard that in Nigeria, now they don't have even up to five labs. Shola Orabori, the Deputy Managing Director of FedEx Nigeria, spoke on promoting manufacturing to accelerate economic growth and reduce volatility in Africa. The government has a lot of you know, policies and institutions that have been set up to drive technology. How well they are working or how well they are able to respond to the needs of today uh, is uh, yet to be seen. Much of that is yet to be seen in terms of how it's impacted our economy. Because even all of these that we have in place in Nigeria are working well, they will rely less on foreign technology and be able to also do production without having to rely so much heavily foreign um, inflow of technology Number two, favorable regulatory and financing environment. Engine Saleh is the Chief Executive Officer of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria. He spoke on facilitating the development of international aviation business. Paul Ikele, the Registrar and Chief Executive Officer of the Institute of Business Development, delivered a paper on the topic Positioning the Solid Minerals Sector for Alternative Energy and Employment Generation. After the paper presentations, there was a panel discussion. The discussions preferred solutions to our national challenges. Nigerians are you know, eager to do things, but the problem is that the infrastructure and the, you know, the things we need to do it and the government policies are not helping us. So what we need is government to really come out with it. Let them liberalize this energy sector. And then we, somebody can decide to uh, have uh, uh, a plant that will give uh, light for a small community and then charge them, you know, economically. And by the time you do it, instead of doing national grade, disco, that and that, make it small areas and let people provide electricity for those areas and then do business and charge them. A lot of people, you see growth in this country. We need to evaluate nearly all of our processes. We tend to have very good legislation. We tend to have uh, many things in place, but we don't have processes that should circuit the wrongs. For those people who are in business, oil and gas, in fact, for any other business, employ people who are capable of doing what they need to do. 
if you are a business player, you think IT is not important, not necessary. I can tell you in the next one to three days, I'm going to go out of business. They're going to actually go extinct. Because the platform in which you grow a business today is technology. Two people were inducted into the institute. These stakeholders believe that the time for Africa to be an economic world power is now.